pumped out all the fuel. And this is what we have inside. Kind of a little darker color to the fuel in there and there's definitely some stuff kind of hanging out in the bottom now you can see the what looks like the side of the tank and that's actually a, a baffle that baffle is kind of coming like right here and then there's another one here and another one here probably a, another one so all of the fill and or all the pickups and return lines are on the other side of this baffle so I can't see those, and I can't really see what's getting to those. There's no access, so that that makes it a little difficult. But all I do know is I need to get this fuel out of here and clean this tank as much as possible. Since we found that chunk of slime that blocked the hose and the, and the, the fuel lines were blocked and we had to blow those out, I'm really apprehensive about even using the, um, the onboard fuel polisher because I don't want to have to deal with getting another one of those um, clogs out of there. I don't know exactly the best approach. I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to pull all of this fuel out. I just have a little manual pump. Um, there's not that much fuel, so I think the manual pump probably do fine. Be a little bit of a chore, but um, we'll pump that out. We'll start with the first five gallons in the jerry can and we'll go from there. Pumped out all the fuel, and this is what we have inside. A bunch of nasty gunk. And that thing right there, that big wad, is like a big slimy ball. Unfortunately, I can only get between that baffle and uh, that baffle. I can only really clean out by hand what's in this spot right here, so. Oh, oh my God. What is that? That is just thick, slimy, like, sludge. It's like mixed with dirt. It's not supposed to happen. It's like, I feel like mushrooms. What's funny is I think there's dirt, there's dirt and sediment at the bottom, which I've seen before. It looks like this gunk has grown on top of where the sediment and dirt was, almost like that was food for them, for this stuff or something. You see all the dirt in there? It's kind of weird. But this is the shit that was getting caught up in the fuel line and blocking the fuel line, not even getting to the fuel filter. So this is what I'm worried about is rough seas, we turn the engine on for whatever reason, and this blocks the fuel line, and then it's a big mystery of where the hell is the blockage. And I can reach everything in here, but I won't be able to reach the rest of the tank. So I, if this is in this section, I know it's in the other section. But what do you do? I don't, I don't know what you do. Why don't they have a little hole through all the sections? That's a good question. Let me get a straight. I think everything I just scraped and got loose is now dispersing into the rest of the tank. The hope is that it's just small enough to get through the line. That's my only concern. As long as it, the particles are small enough, they'll get caught by the Raycor. That's easy. Change the filter. Did the best I could and cleaned out all that gunk. But it's only in this section, which is a quarter of the tank, so that means 
there's more in there and I can't reach it. While I prepare to polish the fuel, Kelly ran off to Haiti with our friend Ketch to join her on a sponsored trip for their travel website, Two Monkeys Travel. Funny how Kelly always takes these trips when there's dirty work to do on the boat. Hmm. Alright, today's the day. We're going to do some fuel polishing. Um, this is the first time I've ever really polished the fuel. Yesterday we went on a sail about 10 miles and back um, and spent the day at a beautiful little beach called Cambiaso. There's plenty of swell out there so we got a good mix of the tanks. Um, prior to that I had added some um, biocide which kills that diesel bug and the, usually the problem with adding the, the biocide before you get a chance to clean the tanks is that it kills everything off because that stuff sticks to the bottom of the tank and it starts to shed and it starts to float around the tank and that's when it starts to um, clog your fuel lines, clog your filters. And so we actually did this on purpose. We knew there was a chance we could lose the engine on the way back in to Lupron Harbor, um, but we had a backup plan. Um, we had a jerry can ready so if we had to, we could just disconnect a hose, put it in the jerry can, and we could get, you know, the couple hundred yards we needed to. I have a 50-gallon tank on one side, a 35-gallon tank on the other. Uh, the big challenge is these tanks have separators welded in there. They're baffles, and that prevents a lot of sloshing of the tanks. And so the challenge is to get the tanks clean where you can't reach. And so you do the best you can. I'm going to take all of the fuel from one tank, and then transfer it over into the other after it goes through the fuel polisher. So I figure if I can pull all of the fuel out of one tank and into the other and filtering it in the process, I should be able to get almost everything that's in there. So here's what the setup. This is a, a unit I borrowed from someone here in the harbor. Thank you, Bruce. What we have here, this is a 160 gallon an hour fuel pump attached to a big, big Raycor filter with the, uh, the bowl down here. I have the, the inlet here on a nice clear tube so I can see what's coming in and this is the outlet and then there's also a, a pressure gauge here that you know basically tells you if you're clogging or over pressurizing and then gives you an indication of whether the uh, filter inside needs to be changed. Now these filters that we're using are a bit bigger than your average uh, sailboat Raycor so this can handle a lot more flow and these filters can really, um, I guess, take a lot of gunk before they really get clogged up. So there's this piece of bent copper that came with the uh, fuel polisher. It's all kinked and stuff in spots, so it's not real good, and it's a really small pickup hose. So what I did is I just took some Velcro and kind of give me a, a little handle to move the, uh, the end of the pickup around. There's a baffle here that I cannot reach. Strange, because that's where the pickups are. This second baffle, I have the access port to. There's a third baffle, and then a fourth. You can kind of see where the uh, divider's been welded in. That's on the inside. I'm gonna pick up from here. So I'm gonna go through that hose, in here, and then out this hose, and into this tank. That'll give me a good cleaning. And then um, I'm gonna fill these tanks to the top and I'm gonna keep them topped off as much as possible from this point on. Uh, doing that prevents a lot of uh, condensation and water that can build up in these tanks. I guess that is what causes these fungus or diesel bugs to grow. Um, and then I will, for every fill up and within every jerry can that I store on board, I'm gonna start adding a little bit of biocide I don't want to deal with this again and once you get clean tanks I think it's important to to maintain those and keep them clean um, the hard part is getting them clean in the first place so um, all right let's get polishing
Okay, now I'm going to switch the pickup and the uh, the inlet and the outlet, and um, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to transfer all that fuel over here. I think I'm just going to do that a few times. Um, surprisingly, this tank is very clean, and I didn't expect that because um, we really sloshed some stuff around yesterday, and um, I expected a lot more um, stuff floating. The area I'm cleaning, I did clean by hand, but I'm not seeing anything else flow in from the other baffles, and so uh, I'm really kind of curious. So. Made a mess. Transferred the fuel probably about four times back and forth, probably five times actually, and it's looking really clean. The tanks are looking really good. I did have some big chunks that kind of came through, but um, I'm not seeing anything like that anymore. So I'm feeling really comfortable with the condition of the fuel and the fuel tanks. So here is the one filter I went through, and there's a lot of gunk on the outside, but it doesn't look like it would completely clogged it's better than I expected and then here's some of the dirty fuel we drained from the bowl you can see there's a lot of small pieces and it actually looks like they're somewhat suspended a little bit of water in there but it was also just sprinkling but you can see there is a fair amount of sludge that came out too I actually expected more than this but um, that's some of the sludge that was come off the bottom. So happy to get that out of the tank. That is the stuff that will cause huge problems. I hope I got it all. There's probably some more of that in the in the tank and different baffles, but you know we got out what we could. If you're wondering about my return trip from Haiti, it wasn't without its problems. The bus ran out of gas on the Haiti side of the border. Our bus broke down in Haiti. But we eventually made it back to the DR and back onto Satori. This marks the end of our hurricane season and it's time to move on. 